Well, I picked up a couple of new tools here at, uh, at the Woodworking in America show in Cincinnati this year. And I like to promote any new tools I pick up. The first one I picked up is a fantastic new plane by uh, Nice Ash Planes. Uh, I've got a link up to their website. Uh, Rhett's a great guy and he makes a fantastic plane. Uh, I've got another video up showing me using it and I've got a, a written description of, of the plane in there. Uh, all I can say is I didn't even touch the iron out of the box. It was ready to go and it, it just did a, a, a fantastic job. Uh, I'm real happy with it. I picked up an extra iron for it and uh, you know highly recommend it. Uh, you know not not anything else that I can say until you put it in your hand because uh, that that's really the uh, true test of a, of a hand plane and uh, it passed my test certainly. Second I picked up some holdfasts from Gramercy Tools and uh, these are sold by Tools for Working Wood. I'll have a link to their website on mine. You can just click on the link to get to their site. These are fantastic. Uh, I've been working without them for a couple of years now and been looking for uh, looking for one that'll fit in a three quarter inch dog hole which unfortunately the ones that Woodcraft sells do not uh, as, I, as I found out when I purchased a few of those. Uh, how they work? You simply drop them in a dog hole. Let's see if I can get it in the camera angle here. Uh, there we go. And you put it on your work surface and then all you do is you smack that back end of the hold fast and it will hold fast. Imagine that. And you can, I mean, yeah, you can, you know, do this, but I can also pick up the workbench if I tap it in hard enough. Which you just found out. And so did I. But the work is still held. I think that's a, a pretty good testament to how well they work. Now, to remove the hold fast, all you do is you tap on the back of the hole or of, of the hold fast right here on the heel, and it's loose. Uh, a lot of people will put a, a leather pad on there right here. And that's what I plan on doing here when I do my vice faces. I can't recommend them enough. They will make your life a lot simpler. Uh, just a couple of quick notes. Three quarter inch dog holes. And not only that, but I have used them in my apron holes. And my apron is only about an inch and an eighth thick and they still hold very well. Uh, I would recommend you use them in thicker wood but they will work in an inch and an eighth hole with no chamfers and no no modification. So you know just keep that in mind if you're thinking of ordering. Well that's about all I, I picked up at, a, at Woodworking in America this year. Uh, but I will tell you this, uh, I'll be doing more business with both tools for working with wood and with, uh, and with nice ash planes. Fantastic company.